Hi there. In this video I'll be working on the Ariston A1324UK front loader and in particular the bearings. This bearing arrangement can be found on an assortment of other machines including washer dryers so this video may be useful to owners of a wider range of machines other than just Ariston. As with all repairs on domestic appliances before you start work remove the mains plug from the power supply. Remove the top by undoing these two screws and it can be lifted off. Next remove the six screws holding the rear panel on and that can also be taken off. The hardest part of this task is to unscrew the central pulley bolt because they've been fitted with so much Loctite that even without the thread it would be hard to remove them. You'll need a size 40 Torx bit and if you have to buy one they're not for the high impact version because the cheaper ones could snap as you try to undo the bolt. If you're an engineer then it would be worthwhile to get one anyway, but if you only have one machine to do then you could try and get away with the standard bit if you already have one, but you may have to tap the bolt with a hammer a few times to try and loosen it. Because this is the hardest section to remove it's best to get it out of the way first rather than removing all the other parts only to find that you can't get this bolt undone. The belt will come off easy if you just turn the pulley as you pull it towards yourself. Now wedge the pulley with a hammer handle or a block of wood to prevent it from turning as you undo the bolt. A little tip, use some kind of extension bar on the Torx bit or you could seriously cut yourself on the sharp edges of the cabinet if it snaps as you're trying to undo the bolt. And once the bolt's out you can lever the pulley off with a couple of screwdrivers. Now undo and remove the two bolts holding the top balance weight on. This will give you clearance to get the four bolts of the bearing support frame. These torque bolts also have Loctite on but not so much and they come out a lot easier than the pulley bolt. When all four bolts have been removed, tilt the machine forward and rest it on the wall or a unit because you may need to get to the lower bolts on the bearing frame via the underside of the cabinet. Use a block of wood or mallet and hit the drum shaft just to free it from the bearings. Then once you've removed all eight bolts from the bearing frame it can be levered out from the edges and centre. Don't use anything too thin or sharp when levering the centre out or you could damage the rear of the container which will prevent a good watertight seal when replaced. The arms on the bearing frame are in quite tight and it may take a bit of persuading but it will come free and with a bit of twisting and turning it can be eased out of the cabinet. Check the drum support shaft for signs of corrosion or rust. Lay the frame on something off the ground so you can knock the bearings out. Use a rod or cold chisel and knock them out by varying the striking point. This way they'll come out evenly and not damage the housing. The inner bearing and seal come out as one unit but they're fitted separately. Although the initial part of removing the pulley bolt may seem very off-putting with regards to changing the bearings on these machines, the actual procedure is very simple and extremely easy because you have everything right in front of you and you don't need to dismantle any of the container. Before you fit the new bearings, just wipe around the inside of the housing to make sure it's clean and clear from grit. As you can see the inner bearing is halfway into the housing, that's because the water seal is slightly larger and therefore so is that part of the housing. Only hit the outer rim of the bearing and tap it in until it's flush with the frame. Then use a rod or cold chisel and continuing to just hit the outer edge and varying the striking point, tap it all the way in. The water seal just pushes in.
Seat the outer bearing on the frame and tap it in. As with the inner bearing, just hit in the outer edge and bearing the striking point. When the bearing's flush with the frame, it's in as far as it will go. Make sure the facing edge of the container and seal are clean and dirt free before replacing the bearing frame. It may look symmetrical, but it's not, and it will only fit in one position, so you need to juggle it about to find its correct location before replacing any of the bolts. When you have the frame in the correct position, tap it in place with a hammer so you can insert all the bolts. Fit all the bolts before tightening any of them, because you may need to do a bit of adjusting if one or more are not incorrect. Once they are all sighted correctly, then tighten them. You may want to add Loctite to the threads, that's your option, but be aware you might have to remove it again at some point and it will make life that much harder. Fit the pulley and tap it on as far as you can with your hand. There's no need to use a hammer because the bolt will draw it on the rest of the way when you tighten it. Once again, it's up to you if you use Loctite or not. Wedge something between the pulley and frame to prevent it from turning when you tighten the bolt. Remember it has to pull the drum shaft and pulley together, so make sure it's as tight as you can get it. Fitting the belt is simple, just hook it over the motor shaft and onto the pulley as far as it will go. Then hold it in place and turn the pulley clockwise. This will draw it on the rest of the way. When you refit the top balance weight, be aware that there is a cut out section on one side of it. And this must go on the side with the soap dispenser. We could have a problem later on if you get an unbalanced load or the drum moving about violently because it would hit and damage the dispenser. There are two little cutouts on the cabinet which the back panel hooks into and two recesses on the panel to correspond. Locate the panel in these first before refitting the screws. Replace the top and screw it down and the machine is ready to be water tested. On behalf of Selfix UK, we'd like to thank you for watching this video and hope you found it interesting. Goodbye.